Um, so yeah, I'll just go over uh, how Notion performed from a risk perspective over the last few months and highlight the main risks that the protocol uh, faced and how it mitigates uh, the, these risks. So at a high level, uh, one thing that I think has been pretty interesting to see is that over a period of time where ETH and Bitcoin prices decreased by more than 50% and where you've seen UST implode and multiple funds blowing up or defaulting, uh, DeFi protocols like Notional were able to remain solvent at all times and prove to be extremely resilient. And maybe to talk more about like how Notional works and why it was able to perform so well during these times. Um, so like Notional is an over collateralized lending protocol, meaning that borrowers must always like deposit collateral assets that are worth more than their debts in the system. And as a consequence of adopting like this uh, over collateralized framework, the main risk that the protocol faces is price risk. So basically price risk is the risk that the value of like collateral assets or debts in the system change over time. And in order to mitigate that risk, uh, we enforce like uh, minimum collateral ratios for borrowers. And, um, you know, these minimum, uh, you know, if any borrower like breaches uh, these uh, minimum collateral ratios, their accounts uh, would become eligible for uh, liquidation. So just going back to what happened in Q2, um, so as like ETH and Bitcoin prices went down, a few notional accounts actually breached their minimum collateral ratio requirements. And as that happened, uh, we've seen multiple uh, liquidators competing to liquidate these risky accounts. Uh, we've seen uh, 20 liquidation transactions uh, where liquidators uh, liquidated like uh, for a total of $1.4 million uh, in collateral assets. And by liquidating these risky accounts, uh, liquidators made roughly uh, $70,000 in profit while uh, contributing to making sure that, you know, Notional was sufficiently capitalized at all times. So in short, like liquidations worked exactly as expected and we're really happy with how the protocol performed on that front. Um, another thing we're really happy about is how Notional uh, handled withdrawals over the recent months. So just to give you an example, on the day that USD pegged, we've seen LPs redeem more than $100 million uh, from Notional without any issues. And just to put that in, in context, at that time, it represented more than 50% of the total end token liquidity in the system. So although it's never fun, of course, to see uh, users withdraw their liquidity from the protocol, it still highlighted that like Notional was able to process large withdrawals just as intended while uh, remaining liquid at all times. Um, so yeah, I think like the recent events really highlighted like the value proposition of real DeFi protocols versus like CeFi. Uh, we've seen like DeFi protocols be extremely transparent at all times and also managing their risk in a very uh, predictable and orderly way. And although unfortunate, uh, the, mar the market drawdown was a good stress test for Notional. And we're extremely happy with the fact that the protocol performed exactly as intended. And um, yeah, the risk management will continue to be um, our top priority. And especially as we roll out new products like the results and as we uh, add additional assets uh, on the platform. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for me. So one other question I kind of, uh, we've talked a bit about and heard from the community is like, why there was the uh, drama with the uh, Solana and the Solind protocol that um, they had the whale on the protocol that they had issues liquidating. Um, why is that not an issue or will it not be an issue again in the future for Notional? Right. So that was like mostly a liquidity issue basically on Solana. So on Notional, we only list like very high quality assets such that we're like very confident that we can like liquidate these assets like on the market, like on chain. So that's like how we basically prevent against uh, such a case. Like we don't allow people to put like too much collateral, like too much of an asset in collateral on Notional. And then we make sure that there's always like sufficient liquidity on chain to make sure that we can like liquidate these assets if needed. And that's like something that maybe other protocols are not doing or, or monitoring as, as much as we do. But uh, yeah, that's how we kind of prevent against that basically. 